Hello everyone, it's my pleasure to present the proposed paper for this conference and I hope that uh, you will enjoy this presentation. The proposed paper called uh, UNRESA, which is the abbreviation of uh, an automated NOC based design flow for real-time streaming applications. My name is Mohamed Mehdi Mazraeli. I graduated from Sheikh Beshi University's Computer Science and Engineering Department in Bachelor's Degree. Assume that uh, we're going to implement an algorithm such as voice activity detection that you can see its data flow graph in this figure into a hardware platform. One decision you can make is to choose multiprocessor system on chips. But there are some problems. You have to explore the design spaces to, for example, map the functions, map the actors to the processors. Also, you have to choose to use bus or network on chip. Using network on chip provides us to guarantee some real-time constraints. Also, developing such systems uh, are a little bit hard because you have to have some specific knowledge about software and hardware development. Uh, and moreover, it is time consuming in case of testing, verifying its functionality. There are several works uh, that get the application as their input and automatically explore the design spaces, implement it into a hardware platform. But the main difference between uh, Andresta and those works are uh, that those works partition the design space exploration problem into sub problems like partitioning, uh, routing, and scheduling, and solve them one after each other, um, which break the inherent dependencies around them. Usually, typical design flow tools get some inputs and output the design. One of these inputs is application behavior, which can be represented by high-level languages, XML files, and more. The other input is the hardware specification. It's about the architecture of uh, hardware you want to use, for example, NOC or BOSS, or the number of processors and something like this. Also, if the design flow tool want to guarantee some constraints or satisfy some constraints, one of its input is constraints like deadlines, throughput, and etc. There are some objectives that uh, also typical design flow tools going to optimize them, like area of power performance. And at the end, they give the output design, which is uh, implemented in a hardware platform. Here is the proposed design flow on RESTA. It's a fully automated design flow that um, gets the application behavior alongside architecture specification and by giving these inputs to the next section mapping, which is the main uh, contribution of this paper, try to solve the design space exploration problem by translating it to a constraint programming model. And at the end, by generating intermediate representation, which is the receive generator engine input, uh, it's able to Generate software and hardware projects to implement your uh, application into your target hardware platform. Also, the Andresa is an open source project and is available with its GitHub link. The first input of the Andresa is application behavior. We can represent applications by using data flow graphs and the Andresa is using synchronous data flow graph as its input. STFs have several actors and several edges among them. Each actor 
has a functionality that can uh, we can represent its functionality by using high level languages like C language also we can represent um, the connection between the actors uh, by using an XML file the second input of the Andresta is architecture specifications it includes for example, number of processors, local memory capacity, NOCs specification like packet length, address suites, and something like this. Also, we can describe this informa these informations by using an XML file. The second step is mapping, which is the main contribution of the proposed design flow. There are several related works, same as Andresta, that um, they also get application as their inputs and explore the design spaces to find optimum solutions and at the end implement it into a target hardware platform in, in, an fu in a fully automated manner. But there is a big difference between those and the Andresta. Those tools partition the problem into sub-problems like partitioning or routing problems to solve one after each other by using, you know, for example, several heuristics like FM for partitioning problem. As a result, they break some inherent dependencies among these sub-problems. But uh, Andresta modeled the design space exploration problem as a constraint programming model and tried to find the global optimal solution. By using constraint programming, we are able to jointly explore different design spaces such as partitioning, scheduling, and routing without need to partition the main problem into sub-problems. Also, con uh, constraint programming is declarative, so we can add several objectives to the existing model without making any changes, but uh, assume that you have developed a C algorithm uh, and you want to add another objective to it, you have to make um, very big changes to it. Also, the constraint programming separate the problem model from solver model. As a result, you can solve your problem model with different solvers, or maybe you want to write your specific solver to solve uh, your model. There are two main types of constraint programming, constraint satisfaction problem and constraint optimization problem. In constraint satisfaction problem, the solver just try to find the solution that satisfies the constraints. But constraint optimization problem uh, is a more specialized uh, format of constraint satisfaction problem that not only the solver goes to find the goes to satisfy the constraints also it tries to optimize an objective in optimization problem we maybe have some cost functions or reward functions when we have cost functions um, usually we're going to decrease the cost function to optimize our problem. Or in reward, uh, if we have reward functions, we're going to increase the result. Andresta used Minizink to model the design space exploration problem into constraint program. Minizink is a high level language that which helps us to model our problems into CP and it is solver independent. Minizink IDE 
compiles the music language into an intermediate representation called FlatSync, which is the input to different several solvers uh, such as GUIELO tools or G-code. Uh, network flow and beam packing algorithms are two constraints, two global constraints that was implemented in Minizink libraries. These are constraints that limited our mapping model not to exceed the constraints limitation. By using network flow constraint, uh, we control the communication cost, and by using beam packing, we control the load of processors. The idea of uh, adapting communication bandwidths and processor loads to these constraints uh, retrieved from a proposed paper by Mirza and Kuczynski. Also, in this constraint programming model, uh, we have some constraints to specify our routing algorithm. Uh, Andresta uses XY routing, but uh, it's easy to add another routing algorithm by, uh, with, by just adding some new constraints. Our constraint programming model should satisfy some constraints and optimize some objectives. The constraint that uh, Andresta constraint programming model satisfies is throughput constraint and the objective that uh, it's going to optimize it is the combination of processor load problems and network bandwidths. In optimization problems we will have some cost functions that can be the combination of number of processors and communication costs. The cost function of um, our CP model uh, was a uh, coefficient of number of processors plus a uh, coefficient of communication cost. Finally, Andresta goes to implement the application into the target target platform, which is NRC-based design architecture uh, and um, is implemented in, into an FVJ. Now that uh, we solved the design space exploration problem and we have the global optimum solution, we have our intermediate representation consists of application behavior information including actors C functions, hardware specifications including number of processors or NOC size and etc and also mapping results, uh, which shows um, which actors should map to which processors. There is a receipt generator engine, which um, developed by using some uh, Python scripts to generate our software and hardware projects. The hardware project consists of uh, many HDL codes uh, and these uh, HDL codes converted to intellectual properties uh, which is handy and um, it uh, enabled the uh, Andresta to generate uh, the uh, hardware projects by using uh, just some scripts. Software projects are projects that should run on the processors. They consist of actors function which is scheduled in a self-done manner. Um, one of the merits of using synchronous data for graphs is that um, we can statically analyze them to find feasible schedule. Also the other thing is a hardware abstraction layer which helps us to communicate with other processors through the NOC. As you can see, the software project consists actors function, wrapper, and communication layer, that is hardware abstraction layer. Our hardware abstraction layer 
uses a pair of FIFOs to communicate with the NOC, which uh, these FIFOs uh, have a streaming interface near the NOC and memory mapped interface near the processors. At the end, we're going to have a look again to our example, voice activity detection. We try to implement it by using Unresta. So we assume that our cost function was the coefficient of number of processors plus coefficient of communication cost in, in which that coefficients are, were equal. And also we assume that we have four processors. And after the solving the design after solving the design space exploration problem, the Unresta gave us this mapping. And also our input throughput, our desired throughput was for IPS, but after the implementation we achieved the throughput nearly 7 IPS. IPS is iteration per second, it's worthwhile to mention that. In the second case, we changed the coefficients of our cost function. Because we want to increase the cost of communication, we change the cost of communication to 10. So our mapping changed to this and our achieved throughput after the implementation is near about 7.3 IPS. If I have to conclude the presentation, I have to mention again that this design flow is fully automated and this design flow that guarantees throughput constraint. Also, the main contribution was that it jointly explored the system synthesis and platform to the tuning design space to find the global optimum solution. Uh, and at the end, we demonstrate our proposed design flow by using a real-world example. There are several future works. Uh, as you remember, I said that Andresta uses XY routing. So we can have other routing algorithms by adding just some new constraints. Also, we can encode NOC's performance bond computation into a CP model to uh, analyze the results simultaneously. We can support other model, uh, models of computation rather than synchronous data flow graphs, such as time trigger. Um, we can support multiple applications simultaneously and mixed critical systems. Thanks for paying attention. Have a good day.